and Ryan Flores, the front tire changer, he's up on the wall waiting for the 12 to come to a stop. Crash. Oh, Ryan Priest piled into the 52. Uh, B.J. McLeod turned it around on pit road. We are still green. Yeah, but I don't see how Ryan Priest is even going to make it back around. Not right there. One lane, one lane, one lane. Outside, outside. Oh. Clear to the grass. Up. I McLeod don't know, don't get a, about stopped. You don't get a better view oh. than that. Daytona. Yep. And Priest makes the cut. Yikes. I think he, he just he had his oh. eyes on the 12 of Blaney yep. trying to clear him and just did not realize it. If anybody will drop. Oh, oh. he's not going to do it. Got him a cone. That's why they don't have pit stalls down there. <laughs> Spun on to pit road. Man. And a long way he slid. And he was chasing Matt Kempfus right down pit road, I'll tell you that. Stops before this caution. Coming down pit road, the seven of Justin Allgaier got into his jackman, Kyle Suter. Here's Kyle, one of the first guys off of the wall and going out to help service that car. But Justin is out of position. He's gone too far. The crew claims uh, another car got into him, got him a little bit squirrely. And look at the fall that Kyle takes. He got back up. They completed the stop. He was cleared by doctors, and he's ready to continue to pit the car the rest of the day. With the 17, but how about the 20? On that first stop, got tagged from behind, goes into his box sideways. And uh, all looking for a bit of position. Here's the problem right there. As uh, Eric Jones, two abreast, tries to cut out, he tags Chris Busher. The 37 goes around, and Busher collects his jack man, uh, Zach Young. As we said, the car ended up stopped right in his space, yeah. and they serviced it, and he went back out. But and to me, this is a little bit of a rookie mistake on Eric Jones. So another mistake on pit road today. Marty Dave William Byron gives up the second position to come down pit road. So with this Snoko fuel and these four Goodyear tires, they can make it to the end of the race. Given all that up with a mistake, you see the right front tire is loose. It's probably going to come off the race car, which is going to be a penalty. It's just gone completely bad for the seven. This is the danger of being aggressive on green flag pit stops. If something goes bad, it can be catastrophic, Dave. Pit road is a dangerous place. And you see why right here. First caution of the night at Daytona will reset the field when we return. A little bit snow. It made some track bar adjustments on his car as well. They're going to put his right sides on the 24. Matt, oh, contact with the 24, leaving pit road. The, the challenge that comes along with taking two tires, you get in and out of your box while cars are still coming on pit road. Somebody's got to make that call. Let him know he's got to wait for that 95 to come into his box. Before and they he were so lucky not to hit Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s tire carriers and tire changers right there in the midst of all that. You see all this on the left rear over here. You see that the uh, Jackman let the car down before the, the guy had a chance to tighten the left rear tire up. And I never even looked back. Looked like a possible hand injury to the uh, left rear tire carrier. A lot of damage to the car riding around this racetrack without a left rear tire. Well, Kyle made it all the way back around to his pit to have a new wheel installed. I think the tire's going to make it too. The <laughs> in the back if you're coming and some of them are boy a bunch of them did but not our leader Whoa! car goes around in the trial the spin oh. sliding out of control bj mcleod brings out the caution stenhouse has wrecked on pit road with tyler redding another yeah. car is sitting littered in the grass daytona 500 rookies get piled up here yeah, again cody ware just right on the rear bumper of the 51 of McLeod and, and, and just just got in the back of him and turned him into that group. That took the whole left rear, and there's Tyler Reddick. Oh, All ooh, of them in their ooh. first 500 start and yeah. it's on. Yeah, and I just wonder if McLeod was trying to, to to get woed up, and I think Cody Ware had no idea he was coming to pit road. And you're right, Jimmy Johnson did get collected in that. <laughs> Three drivers. And I hit the same spot. Watch the 43 cars trying to come into his pit. And Elliot's trying to leave. He just hooks the left rear. And those poor Jack guys man. are, they got nowhere oh, to go. Man, that Jackman gets knocked about 10 feet 
down the racetrack. They changed four tires, reducing the air pressure. Fire in the back of the 29. He leaves the pits and gets out of here. Is on the speedway and it is a problem for Kurt Busch, the Nextel Cup points leader, starting the race today. Let's back go over to turn two and get an update there. Barney, a near disaster and still a potential disaster for Kurt Busch. He got about midway between turns one and two, and the car just simply would not turn. He did an amazing job to keep the car off the wall. Ran literally two inches from the concrete all the way around through. Start back to the fire for a second. Damage on the front of the 19 car. They come out to him, and he's still sitting there. Could have created a log jam on all these cars trying to come down pit road. And Sadler happened to be right there. Now watch the move. Not sure what exactly how this happened. You see Montoya there. Well, actually, it's not even part of it. It's just That's a stack up there with car. the 96. Yeah, but Menard, Sorensen, Sadler, and Waltrip. That's the uh, chain reaction there on pit road, and Elliott Sadler got the worst damage. Yeah, I just looked up and saw uh, this 19 car on fire, and then saw this 42 pull into the garage. I thought maybe he caused it, but he was no part of it at all. Sort of fitting the way uh, Elliott Sadler may have ended his year. He could not buy a break here in 2009. They closed the pit road now because of this, because we've got a car stall. Man, there's a, a teammate. three with a ton of damage also. Man. And Elliott South. Yeah, there it goes. Daniel Suarez, Joey Gase, Ryan Reed, John West Townley, all involved as the leader started to come down pit road. Oh, Brendan, Brendan gone, gone. was sideways on the pit lane. Oh, my goodness. So unfortunate. These guys are having such a tough time getting to pit road today. Ty Dillon, one of those that had issues. Be someone that doesn't get the memo that cars are pitting. Suarez locks up. He gets hit in the back by the 39 of Ryan Sieg and just chain reaction from there. On board with Daniel Suarez. So there was, I there was a white car that was up in the middle of the groove here. Oh, there it is. The top of your screen, there it is. He did hit that wall hard, then yes, again. And then he comes down off the track and he probably he's gonna hit it again. again. He's gonna hit it again. He has no brakes. Wow. wow. There's three times and he hasn't hit the inside wall yet. And look at all the debris that's flying off. And from another camera, there's another blow. And now he's gonna go across the grass. And we're gonna see Jimmy Spencer's car sit in there. See all that water. And just in front of Spencer's car and in the inside wall. Wow. And when I said these people scattered, and I don't believe there was any injury to those people, that does not mean that perhaps Steve Park has not suffered some kind of an injury because he is still in the car. Here's the contact with the wall, and he had that for a ton, too. He sure did. He had four hard licks. Wow. So, the car just shot right up the racetrack. Look at it. It's like something happened to the right front. Yeah, either a tire blew or something happened to the chassis. Here it comes. It hits the second time. And then a third time. Then across the grass. And into the pit wall. You know, that water probably slowed him down, Bob and Benny, as he came across there, which took a little bit of that uh, speed away. Yes, it did. Anytime I ever got... Shot of it. Listen. Be ready, be ready, be ready. Hard, 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 hard. One outside, one outside. That right there is just a difficult spot for a driver to be in. You can hear Scrooge saying, go, 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 go. So you're leaving. That's your cue to leave. And Moffat. Awesome. Probably on pit road with a 48. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Johnson. Johnson spun coming in, but this is a legal stop. The car is in the pit box. So he spun avoiding the 78 of Martin Truex, who was coming out of his pit. Wow. Yes, sir. So Jimmy really cut the 78 Mark Truex a big break. Unfortunately, it cost him a lot of time on pit road doing it there. Then now, as yes, they see Denny Hamlin pull off the bank, he can come to Oh, he road. might have missed. He missed, he missed pit it. road. He missed it. He missed pit road. We've talked about how difficult it is at this racetrack. Race leader Denny Hamlin just missed pit road. That he had. So look how much time he gave up. He gave up 12, 13 seconds by making this mistake. It's so slick. You have to go so much slower than you can imagine.
They had a tire violation when they're on pit road, and now the caution has come out. Tire pit lane. Maybe a huge break there for Matt Tiff right then. Uh, you know, he's in pretty decent shape uh, as far as. But but I think that's his tire. So okay. his tire, I believe, has brought out the caution. But it's still a, a break in, in that sense that you know this was going to be worse under the green flag conditions. Two's best friend. You have a car that currently came in 14 above, and this mistake right here, we see they had to pin under green. That's one mistake. But then Kelly, they compound that with another mistake. Those are the things that can eliminate a team from the playoffs.